Hi there, I hope that you're doing fine. Welcome to this video. First, I'm recording this video on the 28th day of May 2025. And that means it's my birthday. I want to take this opportunity to wish myself a happy birthday. Um, in this video, I'll be showing you how to apply for KRA tax refund. And you might want this refund for different reasons. For this case, uh, my client has a disability and therefore he has a tax exemption. And uh, I want to show you using uh, him as an example of how you can be able to apply for a tax refund. So first, you need to have a document that shows that you are valid to apply for a tax refund. For his case, we have the tax exemption certificate, which you are going to use in this video. So without further ado, let's get started. So first, once you've logged in, all you need to do is to come to refund and then you'll click on uh, this income tax and you'll give it some time to load. Okay, so first he has a liability to pay and we had to pay this first before we continued with um, the application. So you'll come to payments and then registration payment and uh -huh, just confirm everything is okay and click next. And uh, okay, here we need to apply the tax head, which is income tax, and then the subhead, which is uh, income tax resident. And then on the payment, we have self uh, assessment. And here we now have this liability, which we have to pay. And uh, okay, so I'll click here to check. And then when we add, we are told, please pay the principal tax first, where principal tax has decimal values round off amount the nearest one shilling so we're going to do that so first we're going to type here the very you know um principle okay and we are going to round it off just like that and then we'll add uh, do you want to add yes and after that you'll scroll down and you see here it's a, it has been added so all you need to do now is to scroll down mode of payment just choose other and then submit and then okay and so the first one has been uh, applied and all we need to do is to download that for payment. Now we are going now to pay for the, uh, was it a penalty or was it a credit? So we are going to, okay, go through the same process again. Uh, we choose that and here income tax resident and uh, payment type is self-assessment. And then again, we need now to pay, it was interest, okay? So the interest here, we are going to put in the interest and we're going to round it off to the nearest one shilling. And then uh -huh. here it is, it has been added. Again, all we need to do is now to change the mode of payment and then submit and then okay. All right, so uh -huh. here is the slip and uh, we need now to do the payment. Now we'll do the payment. After you've done the payment, you need to come back and then click on refund. On the basic information, just confirm everything is okay and click next. On the bank details, we are going to put here the name of the bank. According to our client, his bank is National Bank of Kenya. So we're going to choose that. And then the branch, you're going to choose the branch for your very client just like that and the city we are going to put here the city basically the town that is near to you and we are going to do just like that and here the account name is usually the name that is found on the atm card so look on the atm card and write the name as it appears on the atm card and i'm going to do that pretty quick and uh, uh -huh. after that we need to put the account number so you'll read it from the atm card and i'll do that and after that i'll just click next now on claim details a uh, refund type we're going to select here for this case it is normal and the refund claim reason with we are going just to write there tax exemption just like that and uh, on the total amount to be uh, refunded, you'll scroll down and you realize that they are put for you there the amount that they need to refund. So this is about 202,000 shillings, nearly 203,000 shillings, which is supposed to be refunded. Now, I told you that we are going to use the income tax exemption certificate 
to upload uh, to show that we are valid to apply for this refund. And here it is. So all we need to now do is to upload it on the very website. So I'll come back here and then uh, huh, I'll choose the document and I'm going to look for it just like that. And I will search for it and select and then click um, open. And here it has been attached. So we need to scroll down and make sure that you check these two things uh, for all the refunds that should be uh, refunded. And then we click on submit. Are you sure you want to submit? Yes, I am. And that will be submitted. Just a moment. Uh -huh. Okay, here claiming of income tax refund has been successfully done and you'll now download the receipt by just clicking in here and it's going to be downloaded and here is the receipt which shows that now we have been able to apply for the tax refund. Now what follows is that now KRA will go through the application, find if it is relevant and if they find that everything is okay, they are going to refund this money on the bank account that you attached. Meaning for the bank details, be very careful to put the right account number. Lest you regret for putting the wrong account number because that money will be sent to someone else. I hope that this video helped you and if that is the case, you already know what to do. Book that like button so that this video can be shared to more people that are searching about this topic. If you enjoy watching my videos, feel very free to subscribe with the notifications on so that you are the first person to be notified whenever we upload a video on this channel. Otherwise, if you would love to wish me a happy birthday, please do so down in the comments below. I'll be very glad to read your comments. At this moment, I want you to click, I think it's this side of the screen to watch our next video and I'm pretty sure that I'll see you in that video. Peace.